Trump made life more difficult for his press office today. Yesterday, the White House insisted that Director Comey was fired for his behavior last year at the recommendation of Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the Deputy AG Rod Rosenstein. But Trump gave a different account today in an interview to NBC News. Here's part of it. But regardless of recommendation, I was going to fire Comey, knowing there was no good time to do it. And in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. It's an excuse by the Democrats for having lost an election that they should have won. And the reason they should have won it is the Electoral College is almost impossible for a Republican to win. Very hard, because you start off at such a disadvantage. So everybody was thinking they should have won the election. This was an excuse for having lost an election. Okay, are you angry, angry with Mr. Comey because of his Russia investigation? I just want somebody that's competent. I am a big fan of the FBI. I love the FBI. Are you a I fan of him, him of taking up that investigation? I think that uh, about the Hillary Clinton investigation? No, about, about the Russia investigation and no, possible links look, between... Look, let me tell you. As far as I'm concerned, I want that thing to be absolutely done properly. That interview is making an awful lot of news tonight, and it will tomorrow as well. But it does it change anything about the underlying facts of this case, such as they are. Mustafa Tamiz is a Democratic strategist and a former consultant for the Department of Homeland Security. He joins us tonight. Mustafa, thanks for coming on. Um, Thank you. So, among many other things, this is a reminder that there is an investigation in progress mm -hmm into the question of Russian interference in the last election, and it's being conducted by the most widely respected investigative organization in the world, the FBI. Absolutely. So given that, why in the world would you want a separate political investigation of this, as Democrats are calling for? Well, look, I mean, the, the president uh, said that in this in the same interview that you were showing, said that he actually had dinner with uh, with with Comey. And in that he he asked if he wants to stay. He was talking almost like a job interview. And then he asked, am I being investigated? Just think about that. This investigation is about the, the Trump campaign and were they colluding with Russia in this last election cycle? That's it. Whether you agree with the investigation or not, investigation is happening. Then the president of the United States, who Comey works for it, during what he the president's got almost like a job interview, asked, am I being investigated? That's just highly improper. And so there's a sense that an independent body needs to look at this because the president is not disclosing his taxes. He is not coming forward. Okay, okay, hold and on. Before you get into the disclosing his taxes and the rest of the talking points, let, let's stick to the core here. Forget the this, talking points. This, 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 is a a this is a story that will still matter a month from now. This investigation into the Russia yeah. connection. I think the whole thing is ludicrous, but it doesn't change the fact it exists. And it's obvious to me that Democrats would like to politicize it even further by creating a parallel investigation run by someone chosen by elected members of Congress. And my question to you remains, why is the FBI investigation inadequate? Is the FBI corrupted? Is that what you're saying? Well, the, the president just fired the FBI director, Correct. sending a signal that he, this is the third firing he's had of people that were investigating him. So it becomes point that you go, the first person, Preet Bharara, was investigating him. He was fired. Uh, then you, you've had a Justice Department official, the, the acting attorney general, fired. And now you had the head of FBI fired. Sally so Yates, Sally Yates was investigating that, President Trump? The, Sally Yates was, was the acting head of the Justice I'm, Department. I'm aware, she but came she wasn't to the Trump administration. In an investigation she came, in Trump. That she, I'm aware she was a look. The, the the FBI director reports to Sally Yates. I mean that that was that's the governing structure. So not what making do you that say, up. Anybody can Google the, the, that. The, the, this conspiracy is getting too complex for me to keep up with. Though I do this every night. Are you saying that Trump fired Sally Yates in order to squelch the Russia investigation? I thought he fired well, Sally Yates we, because she contradicted his executive order on immigration. No, she she came specifically to talk about General Flynn. She she came to the to the White House and said we have to worry about General Flynn. Uh, his contact with the with the Russians is improper. Uh, he may be blackmailed. Uh, you've made okay. him the national security but advisor. That, that Something was has some to be time done. Before Soon she after was that, fired she was fired. Different matter. So, but you're saying she well, was it, actually it the, the one thing look, the rest Tucker, of us didn't know was that she was actually fired at Putin's orders. I mean, I, I'm missing. Look, that, I, I'm no, not, no, no. Look, I think you should look at this very Russia calmly. This is something we should look at. 
Well, so this is something to look at very calmly. Uh, she, she was, this White House has, a, just this recent firing has multiple stories. So just because they say they fired her uh, for not uh, 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 going on the travel ban and supporting the travel ban doesn't mean that's the reason why they fired. Every okay. single day, the, the White is House comes out a with one crazy. explanation, and the right. president okay. goes out so, and changes okay. it. Are you, but the bottom line is, are you saying that the FBI, the tens of thousands of people who work there, is corrupted as an institution by Donald Trump, who's been in office for four months, and in that time, he's somehow corrupted the body of the FBI? That the people who work That's there what you're are, un, are That's then, what you're then Look, why? Today, if you're not saying that, then why would you take the investigation from them and hand it to somebody appointed by politicians? This is doesn't make sense. Look. This is look. There's a multiple ways of doing this. You can end, you can have an independent prosecutor that's appointed by the Justice Department. That's been brought up. You can have an independent prosecutor or a body that's appointed by the Intelligence Committee or or, or in, in the Senate. So there's a multiple ways by of politics. doing this. So, so, but the who fact would that of be? the matter is, I mean, look, who, the who is the, trusted the enough the to do that? Is, look. The fact of the matter is, there is an issue here that needs to be investigated. The president is, seems like, by his actions, doing everything he can to intimidate the people, the very people that are investigating him. And so, if we believe in uh, a law and order uh, presidency, then he should be accounted to the law as well as anybody else. I, I Otherwise, guess he, here's, you know, the, here's the point, Mustafa. The average person Mustafa. loses the confidence in government. And part of the reason the average person is losing confidence is because the left has spun this ludicrous and incredibly complex conspiracy this, theory look, about, look, you you're saying, saying that the FBI you is too left, corrupt but you to can, investigate this. You can this, go down the list of the no number evidence. of Republican leaders in the House and the Senate. I don't Senate care what Republican leaders the in the House or Senate thing. think. Then That's not evidence about? of anything. You keep saying left, but I I'm care telling you that there are people on the Republican That's what I care about. Well, if you care about facts and you want an independent investigation and you want the facts to come out and you don't want the president with the ability ability to fire people that are actually you know investigating. You know what you guys That's are all doing? I've, to the I've reached this conclusion after four months. This is totally fake. It's totally disingenuous. This whole no, it's really it's good for the well, country to get an independent like investigation. Right? Like That's not true. Everything you disagree with becomes fake. You can insult everything me if you, you want. Everything you disagree with becomes fake. I'm not no, trying to insult you, Tucker. Right. Okay. I'm just trying to point out something to you. I, I would like you to listen. Thanks, Mustafa. I appreciate it.